I love this movie. I have too. And, uh, you know, something that uh, was so exciting to see was that Knight seemed to energize by making this movie sort of smaller, stripped-down movie. And uh, I just wondered, what was it like to work with him on set? What was he like to see and to see that energized state? I mean, having never met him before, I came into it just reading the script, which was like, <laughs> so he's such an incredible writer. And I wanted Loretta so badly because I just, I was like, I knew that woman. I just felt for her. I had like, I, so I, I auditioned for it when it got, got it, which he called me personally to tell me, which is like one of those dream stories you always hear about actors being like, and then they called me. <laughs> but I was like, oh, this is happening. Um, I mean, the, the dreamiest, dreamiest. And then when we finally got to meet it up in Philly and have like the, like start the rehearsals with the kids. And then that piece came in when they were so amazing and the chemistry was like right there from the beginning. It was, like I kept saying, it was like it felt like I was back in like in school in that way of like that kind of energy where you want just like, you just want to make something, like you're all of your, it was so passionate, so collaborative. He was awesome. Like the, he, the, the mood book he had was so inspired. He's like a passionate, beautiful id like he just is his mind is so gorgeous and what i would did not anticipate which i was really excited by was what a collaborator he was like what uh, he just really um uh, we may uh, we you you got the feeling that we were making it together which whether or not that was true <laughs> but i really did feel like a, a very it, we all felt very um included yeah, and that's what he said. He got energized by working so closely with the actors yeah. and storytelling, not being distracted by anything else. So no. how did you build that realistic relationship that brought you from all different ranges of emotions to that terror? Yeah, yeah. we really, I mean, we there was a lot of, like I'm saying, it was like, it, there was a lot of backstory work, which I know sometimes can sound douchey, but in this particular like circumstance, it was so fun because it was so little, to, especially for that relationship, which we, the, between the kids and myself, like we, you know, you see me and then I'm kind of like this through line for them, but I'm not like around on, sc on screen until the end. So we wanted to make sure that it was so rooted and real. And we just like, what, we just talked. Like we just got to go food and we just like talked, just like could not stop talking. It was heaven, it was so fun. There's something about this movie. I mean, it is so terrifying and chilling throughout it as well, and I understand why when kids are scary, I kind of get it, it's like that innocence lost, but why are old people so it's scared? terrifying, because yeah. nobody wants to die, and because it is, it is literally, it's like, it's like there's something very afraid, very, very scary about seeing somebody that's not, um, it's on the other side of it, that's like, you know, it's, ter it's terrifying, it just brings up so much for, all of us, and it's so easy to be like, oh, sweet, like helpless, and no, uh-uh, they still, like these, uh, humans have a lot of living to do, and there's, a, you know, I, I just think it's awesome. And when you first saw the movie as an audience member, first thoughts, what were you thinking? what did you feel? Oh, I mean, besides like, I was like, oof, I could barely, I couldn't watch it without putting my, I'm like, I'm in this movie, and I cannot see it, I'm such a baby, but I love it that feeling so much. I love the feeling of being scared. And you were amazing. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you.